infinite awe and a transient mortal desperation. On Earth, we feel big, dominant over all other species, masters of the land, guardians of knowledge, and creators of beauty. Yet the wonders of the night sky seem to reduce the best of us to fleeting, insignificant specks. We live in an eternal union of heat, light, and frigid emptiness known as the universe. Every star begins in a stellar nursery known as a nebula. Nebulas are clouds of matter, gas, and dust. They are several thousand light years from end to end. The most abundant element in the universe is logically the simplest, hydrogen. It is the simplest because it consists of a single proton. The next most abundant element in the universe is helium. It has two protons. Together, hydrogen and helium account for over 98% of the known matter in the universe. What happens in these stellar nurseries is that these colossal clouds of hydrogen and helium gas coalesce under the force of gravity. Hydrogen atoms get squeezed together to form helium atoms. This process is known as nuclear fusion, and it is the reason why stars shine. At the very core of the star, gravity is so intense that heavier elements like carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, and iron are formed. In fact, every element from silver to gold to platinum are formed because of these nuclear fusion reactions taking place in the inside of stars. Hydrogen atoms get fused together under tremendous pressure to form all the other heavier elements that we know today. As massive stars reach the end of their lifetime, they begin to run out of fuel for uh, these nuclear fusion reactions to take place. Without the outward force of these fusion reactions, the gravity of the star causes it to implode and then explode, becoming what is known as a supernova and spilling the enriched gut across the galaxy. Neil deGrasse Tyson, a famous cosmologist, was once asked, what he thought the most amazing fact about the universe was. He pointed out that the most abundant elements in the universe are hydrogen, helium, oxygen, nitrogen, and carbon in that order. When you look at what we humans are made of, the most abundant elements in our body are hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, and carbon. There is an almost one-to-one -one correlation between what we are made of and what the universe is made of. It is a sobering thought to realize that we do not consist of anything extraordinary. We are not crafted out of exotic matter or rare elements. Much as we like to think that we are special, we consist of the same major elements that make up the rest of the universe. In many ways, we are literally stardust. We are the cognizant, intelligent, self-aware conglomeration of carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, and uh, hydrogen atoms. We are the conscious remnants of stars. Take a moment to let that sink in. There is beautiful poetry in the words of Lawrence Krauss when he says, the amazing thing is that every atom in our bodies came from a star that exploded. The carbon atoms in your left hand probably came from a different star than the carbon atoms in your right hand. These stars died so you could be here today. This knowledge may appear to reduce us to insignificant clumps of matter, but this is far from the truth. Be optimistic. You have a reason to be, for we are not simply a small part of the universe. We are in the universe, and the universe is in us. We are, for now, the best-known representatives of its cosmic groups. Using our brains to research our own brains is poetically paradoxical, but the ultimate paradox is us being the universe and then pondering on its haunting mystery, wondering about its copious variety and contemplating the meaning of the edge. I'd like to leave you with a sublime and poetic thought. We are a way for the universe to know itself. Thank you.